compatriots, it brings me great joy to be talking to you as we gather to celebrate Christmas and this festive season, where we take a moment to reflect on the year that is ending, celebrating successes, but also acknowledging some of the challenges of the year. This holiday season, united in our diversity, offers us the opportunity to spend time with family and friends, to rest, create memories, and foster lasting connections that will carry us beyond the festive season and into the new year. Amongst other things, this festive season offers families the opportunity to have intergenerational conversations about their unique lineages, as well as about the history of our beloved nation. We know today that as a country, we have made significant inroads in undoing the legacy of decades of apartheid, spatial planning, and its consequences on the lives and livelihoods of South Africans. As the government, we have accelerated the provision of social services over the past few years by investing in education, health care, housing, water, and sanitation, amongst other things. We have seen improvements in access to education, with six out of 10 children aged four years having access to early childhood development. Secondary education completion rates have doubled. Disability prevalence has decreased from 7.4% to 6% between 2011 and 2022. Over 82.4% of households now have access to piped water, and access to electricity has increased to 94.7% of residents. Nevertheless, we acknowledge that more still needs to be done to establish South Africa as an equal society, where all of us share in the wealth of our country while taking pleasure in being a diverse and growing nation in pursuit of a non-racial, non-sexist, democratic and prosperous society. The festive season presents us with an opportunity to take a moment to think about those who are less fortunate than ourselves, the sick, vulnerable and destitute, who are unable to fully enjoy the festive season because of the scourge of social ills. This reality is for us a reminder of how much change is still needed in our society, and we must collectively strive to make our country a better place for all to live in. Compatriots, since Christmas is a time for giving, we must renew our commitment to each other as families and friends. We must remind each other about the values of Ubuntu and that Umuntu Umuntu Ngabantu. This is a time for us to show love and care for each other. May the shared joy we experienced during the Rugby World Cup 2023, one of the proudest moments of this year, be reignited throughout this festive season. Once more, we congratulate the Springboks for winning the World Cup. Let's set aside our disagreements once more and come together in a spirit of harmony because together we are stronger. Let this period also remind us that we are one nation. Regardless of socioeconomic backgrounds, race, or beliefs, may we use this opportunity to appreciate the little and precious moments that have guided us on the path of social cohesion and nation building. Compatriots, together with stakeholders such as traditional leaders, faith-based organizations, civil society, communities and donor partners, 
We have done a lot this year to address gender-based violence and femicide and contributed in the fight against HIV AIDS and TB towards the realization of the 95, 95, 95 targets. During this festive period, we urge that health and other safety precautions are taken into consideration, taking anti retroviral therapy, contraceptives, and other chronic treatments remains essential. We further urge motorists to adhere to the rules of the road, to arrive alive to their destinations, to drive safely, not drink and drive, when tired, get some rest. Motorists and other road users traveling to various destinations are encouraged to avoid traveling at night, where possible to be more cautious when traveling on weekends, as road accidents are particularly high on these days, as advised by the Road Traffic Management Corporation. To the metric class of 2023, I wish you well as you await the final metric results. We thank the teachers and the parents who have supported them throughout this year. Your commitment to building the future for our country is inspiring. I would like to express my appreciation and gratitude for the tireless efforts of the individuals who have played an important role in our country throughout this year health workers, law enforcement officials, firefighters, community workers, faith leaders, and traditional authorities, and all those who have shown much dedication to helping government to provide services to the people of South Africa, especially during this festive season. We appreciate your sacrifices and dedication. Finally, may this holiday season offer all South Africans and our visitors everlasting joy, peace, and happiness. Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year.